All right. So, I felt like it'd be necessary to make a video about my uh, Daisy uh, CO2 BB pistol. And it's happened before with another one, which you'll see. Not so fortunate, and I cracked it open and all that. And, well, I bought this new one a while ago and ended up having the same problem of a CO2 leak. So, thought I'd investigate and see what happened. So, first off, I've already taken apart all the screws, and pretty much any screw you see. Now, first off, let's just note that there is this cover here, and there's these two screws that you have to remove from here. And once you do that, underneath, you get one more screw. A bonus. A prize inside. So, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. And hopefully not toss a bunch of screws everywhere. Uh-uh, down dog. Boy, come on. Water! Get away. I'm filming, dog. Lay down. Maybe later. Okay, just crack it open. And, uh, and my dogs really want to ruin my video right now. Oh, basically the screws you see are the ones that you have. There's one here, one here, there, one up here, one over here, one here, and last one here. But, unless you're blind or uh, something else, then you won't be able to see these. So, um, those are all the screws. I'm pretty sure you can find them on your own. Uh, just a second. Hey, quit it. Lay down. After the mild interruption, my dogs are really trying to ruin this video here. But I am going to be uninterrupted. So, take the case off. Just set that to the side. I just used a screwdriver. I don't know what the size is. It just so happened to be the right size, and I found it somewhere. So, yeah. Let's set aside all unnecessary parts for now. <clears throat> now, if we look at the uh, busted one, that is, well, first of all, we got some Gorilla Glue residue here because, whoops. This uh, case then got messed up, so I can't use this anyway. The BBs don't flow right with it. Pieces are falling off where the screws have stripped themselves out. But you got this uh, unnecessary block of metal for extra weight. Actually, now that I think of it, it probably reduces kick. <clears throat> you got the, uh, this thing that holds the spring for the trigger and the barrel mechanism. Let's see, there we go, right there. And also holds the little spring that uh, for the BB feed. Where is that thing? This thing right here, the slide. You just slide it and it forces the BBs into the thing and it missed. There you go. Just get a close up. At least I don't have a shitty camera that turns completely far sighted whenever you try to bring something near to it. And I'm not recording with the calculator, as you'll notice. So we have the main trigger doohickey. A few springs. Here's the valve where the BB goes in. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to. This is the idiot's guide of how to take it apart, so I won't go into extreme depth. What holds your CO2 tank capsule? The safety. The unnecessary weight. The BB feed spring. And the actual thing to feed the BBs. Spring that pushes the barrel back into place. And 
and a jumble of complex and complicated things to remove all at once. But there are these two pins that hold this little tank here to the CO2 holder. So just uh, pinch, remove these two pins, set them aside. For the small parts that I want to hang on to, just put in that Teflon tape case. And the tricky part. Nah, you don't want to rush at it. But loosen this up. Get in here and pull this out. Hey, this is free. So just rotate that up and remove this hunk of metal. Here's a trigger trigger uh, mechanism here. And now before it flies out on you, remove the spring. Let's see what trivial way I'll have to remove it this time. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, eventually I know this thing is just going to pop out and fly across the room. Never mind. Success. Okay, got it. And let's just uh, begin to remove all of this. Okay, so gently slide the barrel out. So we got the barrel and its uh, parts here. Just a smooth bore, non rifled barrel. Set her there. Okay, our trigger mechanism. Just be careful with this. And then. What allows the BB to go in to the chamber? Hmm, yes, I dropped that. So what? Let's reach down here and pick it up. Voila. Okay, so we have these, keep these together. Lost it before filming earlier, it fell underneath my couch. So what? As long as it's not lost forever. Besides, I got this thing, spare parts. That's all this thing will be useful for now. It seems like a common problem, and I think Daisy warned you when you get your instruction manual and whatnot, but you don't want to keep a full tank of CO2 in the gun because you'll end up getting a leak and if this has happened to anyone else, your tank's empty, so you put another tank, and all of a sudden, it starts shooting out from an area back here as a geyser of disappointment sh and shame and, and failure. So, to fix that, here is what the problem is, and usually the leak comes from here, as I suspected. Now I thought Daisy would have stamped this together in a press somehow, but apparently not. See if you can find a flathead or standard or whatever screwdriver, whoever, whatever you are, whoever you are, what you call it, and it's threaded, you can remove it, but not exactly remove it, the most important part here, or my point is, you can tighten it and fix the problem with the leak. So in here, you've got your chamber and all that, and basically the problem with the leak like I had. And then you got your valve mechanism here. So basically, the reason this spring is in here is when you pull the trigger, it pushes the barrel forward, a BB falls into place, and then this little thing right here, when the trigger, me the trigger mechanism slips past and falls here, then this thing can slam back, push this back, and then a burst of air comes through this little hole and shoots the BB out. And then the trigger mechanism thing it just slides back into place and gets behind here again. So, there you have it. 
But of course, people are probably going to want to know. Okay, I took it apart. I'm screwed, because I'm usually not able to put things back together once I do this. Well, it's very simple to do. Um, also, very quickly, to solve my problem, I put a little bit of a Teflon tape on here, so if you want, it doesn't really matter. It only serves as a lubricant for the threads, it makes it easier to put on, but hopefully it doesn't make it easier to come off. So, just get your screwdriver, tighten it up, make sure that some bitch don't come off again. You got a lifetime's worth of shooting.